So I just wanted to go over how I organize my bills every month and keep track of when things are due and how much is due so I won't get overwhelmed and forget if I pay the bill or anything like that. So this is the first step, a planner. I got this from Walmart. As you can see, I need another one because this is the last month of 2017. But yeah, so I just got this little one from Walmart and if you open it up this is December and I have everything written down um, as you can see I really have done this every month that was November October and I think oh and yeah September I got it in September <laughs> but yeah so um, and then basically I write for this purpose of the video I didn't write exact amounts but I did write correct due dates and all that stuff so yes this is December like I said first you know the first of the month rent is due so I did write uh, rent due like I would write the total and then I write when I paid it which I paid it that Saturday um, so yeah I wrote that on there and then nothing was due uh, this next week so I got lucky and then right here on the 10th I had a credit card due it is my Best Buy credit card and um, I wrote like how much what it was due how much was due the date it was due and then I write when I paid it which I paid it um, this day so I write under the day it was due like what day I paid it and then um, cable and alarm bill were due back to back. So I paid both of them on the 15th. So I wrote that there. And then nothing is due on this last week, but right here, this is renter's insurance. It's uh, like basically our apartment, you have to have renter's insurance. So basically like if it's a break in or a fire or anything like you're covered. So pay, uh, we have to pay this by the 17th which I probably will end up paying it today, but I haven't paid it yet. So I will just write today's date, which is the 15th. I write paid 12, 15, 2017. So yeah. And then on the 20th, I have a, I have two credit cards. So on the 20th, my other credit card is due. So I'll, I have that there. And then on the 22nd, our light bill is due. So that's there. They will probably both get paid on the 22nd. So, yeah. Um, but if I have a little leftover money, then from after I pay the renter's insurance, then I'm going to pay this credit card also. So it's not really late. Um, but, yeah, I've been doing this for, like I said, the past couple of months, and it has definitely worked for me. And um, all that, what I also do, it's not on here, but it's, like, on the past ones, I will write, like, on the day that I get paid, I will write exactly how much I got paid, so I know, like, when I see my bills, I could just, just subtract how much I got paid, you know, from the bills, so I could always keep up with how much is left, and keep up with what else is due if I am able to pay that also from this, like, this week's check or anything. So yeah, that works for me, and it definitely keeps me organized. I've tried to get Bay to do it, but he he just, I don't know. He hasn't hopped on the train yet, but hopefully we'll get him there because this is very organized for me, and it definitely helps keep me on track of everything, and I don't get overwhelmed or forget if a bill is paid. I'll just go in here and look and see if I put paid or not. And if I have it, then I know I haven't paid it. And if I have, then I can breathe and know that it's taken care of. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. What I also have done before is the um, envelope 
envelope method where you take and take the cash out and you put it in the envelope like each week or whatever and then until it adds up to the total amount that's on top of the envelope and then you could pay it like you put it in your account and you pay it or however you pay your bills you could pay it that also help uh that also works for me too but i stopped doing that only because i got tired of going to the bank to you know take the cash out to put in the envelopes and then when i'm ready to pay it go back to the bank and put it back in my account so i could pay it online so that got kind of aggravating so i just kept track of it here and basically what I do is like each week if a bill isn't due and there's nothing for me to pay, I'll see like what's coming up and just mentally subtract it out of my account. And that works for me because I know I need it for a bill so I won't use it. But if you know that you don't have that type of self-control and you see it in your account, then you're going to use it. Then I suggest doing the envelope method so it's out of your account and you don't have to worry about it. But me, I'm okay doing it mentally. Like, I'll write it down, you know, this is set to the side for this bill due on this date, and that just works for me. So, do whatever works for you, and yeah, I hope this video has helped you guys. If you want a more detailed video or anything, then just let me know, and I will gladly do it because I would definitely love to help others out there. But yeah, like I said, this works for me, and I hope it works for you guys. Uh... Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I love you guys. Bye.